It's 2023, and artificial intelligence is the latest trend of the new year. AI is an essential technology pillar, especially for the future, and Elon Musk is heavily invested in this technology. The brains behind Tesla and Neuralink have pushed known limits of computer technology by creating the most powerful quantum computer ever to improve the efficiency of artificial intelligence. The world is about to witness a breakthrough as this tech genius will revolutionize computing operations and make Tesla the most prominent automobile and tech company in the world. So join me today in this video where we'll explore the high-powered supercomputer dojo. Elon Musk has been trying to build Tesla into a fully autonomous vehicle. It's taking so long because you can't just click a button and make a car self-driving. Manufacturers have to teach a car how to drive itself, which relies on a very complex process known as neural net training or machine learning. And this is why Tesla introduced the Dojo supercomputer because using AI neural networks to teach a car how to self-drive requires a large number of computing power to process the data coming in from other cars and feed the AI model week after week. And that's why Tesla built Dojo Dojo. To begin with, allow me to explain what neural network training means. The brain of artificial intelligence is a huge network of calculations. Each calculation is called a neuron of the actual neurons in the human brain. These neurons are responsible for transmitting and processing information for thought and movement. Any information you put into this network of neurons has to pass between the neurons, with each one performing a simple calculation before passing it to the next one and finally producing an output. This transmission path is determined by the weight and bias of the input, and these factors also determine which neurons get to perform the calculations and how well the network is connected. For example, let's say you're driving your Tesla in self-driving mode and you meet a red light. You will want the neurons for light detection to be well connected to the neurons for reduced acceleration and applying brakes right. If your neural network is well trained, then any given input should result in the expected output. But what if instead of your vehicle slowing, it goes crazy and floors the acceleration? That's an error. And that means your neural network needs to be well trained to receive that input and respond appropriately. And that is what neural network training is all about. Getting the car to do what it is expected to do when faced with a particular input. So if your car floors the acceleration instead of slowing down, Tesla will need this information to adjust the weight and bias of the associated neurons so that the chances of that error occurring again falls below the required threshold. Tesla spends a lot of time and effort training their neural network to respond correctly to different situations, finding the right combinations, weights and biases for the neurons. Knowing how complex driving is, try and picture the size of the neural network required to support a self-driving car that requires a network of trillions of neuron calculations. And every time Tesla retrains the neural network with new data to reduce the error margin, the weight and bias of each neuron have to be readjusted. It sounds a lot of work and considering that Tesla releases a new update of their FSD beta program every few weeks, they may retrain network weekly. That training process requires a tremendous amount of computing power to run billions and trillions of corresponding calculations every second. These calculations are called floating point operations per second or flops. You see, modern day supercomputers can function at one quintillion operations per second. And the higher the computing power Tesla has, the faster it can retain its FSD software. It can reach its goal of a fully autonomous car sooner. But until they achieve that goal, new data must be added to the algorithm every time a human supervisor takes charge or stops the vehicle from making a mistake. Considering that over 1.3 million Teslas in FSD mode were used in 2022, the data volume will keep getting more extensive, and that will require more computing power just to keep up with every update in the algorithm. The need for more computing power is the theory behind the development of the Dojo project. For clarification, Tesla Dojo is a quantum computer. What is a quantum computer? Well, quantum computers use the theory of quantum physics to process, analyze, and store data. A regular computer stores information as a series of ones and zeros. Whether it's a text, number, or image, it'll still be represented by ones and zeros. Each unit of this series is called a bit. But quantum computers don't store data in bits. Instead, it uses quantum bits or qubits. The enhanced level of processing in quantum computers can help many fields of work by greatly reducing their time consumption. The computing power can beat even that of the best supercomputers. Quantum computing can also accelerate the speed of processes related to AI, 
and fast processing can enable AI to make improved decisions like better facial recognition. Quantum computing has such incredible potential, Tesla has come up with something very close to this concept, the Dojo supercomputer. Tesla introduced its Dojo computer in 2021, claiming it the fastest AI training machine in the world. The most important takeaway from all of Tesla's information regarding Dojo Dojo is that it's an entirely new approach to an established piece of technology. A long time ago, complicated data-driven tasks like physics and chemistry or even biomedical research were handled by supercomputers. Since the 1980s, supercomputers have constantly been changing in a bid to increase their computing power. Currently, the PlayStation is operating with a computing power of 10 teraflops, maxing the highest consumer product with that amount of processing power. Before the Dojo Dojo, the most powerful computer operated at 1 quintillion operations per second at 1.1 million teraflops or 1.1 exaflops. Tesla's decision to develop the Dojo Dojo, a powerful and energy-efficient supercomputer for neural network training, is part of the company's strategy to integrate its operations vertically. By producing its supercomputer, Tesla can reduce its dependence on companies like NVIDIA and have more control over its AI development. The company has also attracted experienced professionals from the IT community, such as Emil Talpez, who spent 17 years building operation CPUs for AMD, to work on the Dojo project. The current hardware architect for Tesla's autopilot and lead system engineer, Air Bill Chang, also have extensive experience in the industry. Tesla's decision to develop the Dojo Dojo aligns with its overall vertical integration strategy and its desire to have control over every aspect of its business. It also reflects the importance of supercomputers in the age of AI, where they are now considered critical infrastructure. The development of Dojo Dojo is a complex and ambitious project. Still, it is a necessary step for Tesla to achieve its long-term goals in the field of AI and automation. The Dojo Dojo developed by Tesla is a highly efficient and cost-effective solution for neural network training. An update in August 2022 shows that Tesla has accumulated 7,360 of NVIDIA's top-tier A100 GPU chips, each with 80 gigabytes of memory. This makes Tesla's Dojo the seventh most powerful known supercomputer in the world. By optimizing the Dojo Dojo for their specific needs, Tesla claims they can replace five full NVIDIA GPUs with just one Dojo cabinet. The major advantage of Dojo Dojo is its scalability, as it significantly increases computing power while reducing energy consumption and hardware costs. As we move into 2023, Tesla will likely begin phasing in their Dojo tiles rather than continuing to purchase more NVIDIA GPUs. The Dojo Dojo represents where Tesla is heading in AI and addresses the issue of limited resources and the need for efficiency in the industry. Elon Musk has stated that Dojo Dojo is not necessary for Tesla's short-term goals. Still, it is a cost optimization solution for creating vast amounts of video data and improving AI networks faster. The Dojo Dojo indicates that Tesla's goal of achieving full autonomy is just a milestone on the much larger journey into an automation and machine learning. The development of Dojo Dojo is a solution to an existential problem. In the long run, it could be one of Tesla's most valuable products. How far will the AI revolution take us in a few years? Do you think Elon Musk's Tesla will be able to make the groundbreaking achievement he's promising and cars will be able to function driverless? Do you think Dojo will break technological limits and advance quantum computing? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Remember to give this video a thumbs up today if you liked it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you at the next one.